Hello friends, Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life. I'm speaking to you on December 8th from Prayer Town, Texas. I've been staying here since uh, September with the sisters uh, who are the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, a marvelous, charismatic Franciscan community. Uh, you may want to check them out at dljc.org. I'm grateful for so many of you being in contact with me, uh, offering prayers and uh, and support. Wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, I'm doing just great. Priest for Life is doing just great. All our projects are moving forward. Our, our board uh, and our pastoral team are all... Uh, fully uh, unanimous uh, in our in our uh, determination to carry out all the projects that we've indicated to you uh, and in their support of me uh, and all of our leadership. Uh, our canonical advisor has uh, been updating uh, some of the uh, some of the folks uh, that have been uh, in touch with us and making it clear first of all that I am and continue to be and always have been a priest in good standing uh, with the Diocese of Amarillo and with the Catholic Church. Uh, well since I've been here I have had my 23rd anniversary of priestly ordination. It was a great uh, celebration and a great time to, again, renew the lifetime commitment to priesthood that all of us uh, priests uh, make. Contrary to some uh, media rumors uh, over these months, uh, neither I nor Priest for Life have been uh, accused or found of any wrongdoing uh, of any of any kind. So that's not uh, at issue here. And we're working within all the proper channels of the church to work out any misunderstandings uh, that may have arisen. Uh, we are working both uh, with the diocese here and with the Vatican, uh, doing things that are provided for us under church law to do, uh, respectfully and effectively. Uh, to work out uh, uh, any any outstanding uh, any outstanding questions, uh, and I have been uh, completely uh, uh, compliant with uh, what the bishop has asked me to do. Uh, you know, when he asked me to came, come here to Amarillo in September, I didn't go to Anchorage and I didn't go to Amsterdam. I came to Amarillo, and uh, so you call that uh, obedience. And uh, at the same time, I have not stepped away from, nor have I been asked to step away from full time pro life work. Uh, that is something that. That, uh, I have always been confident that the church would not ask anybody to do uh, who is convinced they have a calling to the full-time defense of the unborn. We are saving lives. We will continue to save lives. Uh, and here's what I would ask of you. Uh, I am fully confident uh, that this situation is going to be worked out uh, in, a, in, a, in a short period of time. It won't be too much longer. I am confident in the church. I am confident in all of those that are helping us. The biggest danger we face right now is not from that. The biggest danger we face is that some people being confused about what's going on may hold back their support, their donations, or their involvement in the projects and activities that Priest for Life is doing. And that's what we must not allow. Let's not do that. Let's give even more to the projects, to the activities, uh, to the donations. Let's redouble and triple our support in this time. That's what we need from you and from all of those who know about us and have known about us for years. We haven't changed and nothing has changed. Uh, we are moving forward in full communion with the church and in full communion with our unborn brothers and sisters. And defending them is the most important task that we have. And it's a task that we're doing joyfully, faithfully, and that we want you all to be involved in. So I appreciate the continued prayers. I pre appreciate your continued support, not only in terms of donations, but spread the word about what Priest for Life is doing. Take my columns, take my videos and audios, spread them everywhere, online, on your websites and blogs, talk to friends about it, send it out on your email. Help us to get the word out. That's what it's all about. Lives continue to be saved. Hearts continue to be healed through our Rachel's Vineyard and Silent No More efforts and so many other efforts. Thanks. God bless you. Let's keep in close contact as we come closer to Christmas. Talk to you soon.